The myth is that you can quickly build a vacuum cleaner based rig that will allow you to scale a building like Spider-Man. Before we do anything to these vacuums at all, we need to find out how much they actually suck. And so the simplest way to do that is this little cap, put it on the end of the vacuum, turn it on with that hose into a bowl of water. We measure how many inches it rises, and that's our baseline measurement for everything we do afterwards. We ready? Here it goes. The standard measure used for measuring vacuum is inches of mercury. 39 inches water. So 39 inches of water, that's three inches of mercury, or about one and a half PSI. Okay, so one and a half PSI doesn't sound like much. But the relationship between surface area and PSI is linear. The more surface area, the more mass the vacuum can support. Each team will have two cordless vacuums. So the challenge is finding the suction sweet spot. A large enough suction footprint to support the weight of climber and rig, but a small enough footprint to still be portable. We've decided to completely over-engineer the paddles. Each one we want to hold around 450 pounds. So 20 inch diameter circle, that's 300 and change square inches, times the pound and a half of pressure that each inch can hold that we already got from the vacuum pump, 450 pounds. 450 pounds, as long as you have a perfect seal. So Blue is over engineering their paddles for maximum suction on an imperfect surface. While Martin preps those paddles, Tamara is lightening the load. In order to maximize our suction on the wall, we need to minimize the weight that we're carrying up with us. We're kind of stuck with our own body weight, but when it comes to the vacuum, we can actually take out a lot of the parts. I'm building a housing that hopefully will get us to about 50% of the weight and be able to get us up the wall a little quicker. All right, so and they're ready there. to hit the wall. In three, two, one. The rig has no problems holding Tamara's weight. Yeah, look at that! In fact, she makes it to the top in 25 seconds. 